my name is Karin Ramirez. I'm 36 years old. I'm working at the Institute of Cognitive Systems as a postdoctoral research. I did my PhD in the electrical and computer engineering. My research focuses more on the transferring of skills from humans to robots. With using the same devices that we humans do, for example, videos. Imagine you don't know how to cook Mexican quesadillas, for example, you will go in the YouTube channel, you will look for the recipe from the chef, and then you can actually transfer this into your home environment. And this is mostly what I'm trying to do with robots. Currently, I'm working on extracting or extending my research to more sensors, for example, using artificial skin, and also using new devices like virtual reality systems. When I came to TUM, I also take some more lectures on roboticists, and then I decided to change my major from computer science to electrical engineering. And I'm really glad because I can combine the artificial intelligence methods I learned from computer science with the roboticist uh, methods that I currently learn here. My work also involves working together with students, and this is a really interesting part for me because you get the chance to explain the new technologies to the students and the new generations. We just came back from Japan. Uh, we were in this international competition, so the Robocop at Home competition for the domestic league. And this was a very important experience for the students because they get to see the first contact with real technologies and real challenges that you cannot see in the laboratories. The most important and interesting thing is how can we interact with different persons. For example, the first time when people see a robotics uh, platform doing something is always enlightening and we can see that in little children. So little children come from time to time to our laboratory and we can see their faces that they get so excited to see how the robot reacts when uh, they're looking at their faces or how the robot reacts when they are touching the skin for example or when they are playing with the new technologies like a virtual reality system. Uh, so working with robots is also very interesting because we get to develop new technologies that could help different people, for example, the elderly people or people with some disabilities, we can build the system so that they can help others uh, to finish the task, for example, cooking or everyday chores. That is something that we would like to uh, continue developing. And it's one of the applications we are really excited about. How's you? My name is Pepper. I'm always 